Welcome back everybody. So a few weeks ago I did a store walkthrough of Lowe's and we looked at their Halloween merchandise. I was very excited by the whole line of Universal Monsters merchandise that they're offering. One thing that kind of caught my eye was this. It's a three piece of window clings featuring uh, Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and the Mummy. Now I didn't really have a use for it at the time but I think what I'm going to do is maybe see if they're going to work in this window here behind me. Typically, in years past, if you watch my walkthroughs, uh, I like to put something in this window, usually a figure. I think um, the last couple of years, or maybe it was just last year, I don't remember, I did Pennywise in the window, and then I added Pennywise and Georgie together, and people kind of like that because it's very creepy. But uh, I'm trying to keep it a little easier this year since I don't even know if we're going to have trick-or-treaters. So I figure, rather than lug out one of my animatronics to stick in the window, I'll keep it easy with a window cling. And I have one that I particularly like. It's just a, a guy splattered against the window. Um, it looks like he's bleeding. And I think it's a very effective display. But this year, I'm going to try something new. And like I said, I had this in the back of my mind. And I went back to buy it. And I'm not really sure what to think of it because... It says it is only, well, it's two, basically two and a half feet tall, a little bit longer, 2.6 feet tall. And then I was thinking about that because, you know, well, I got my tape measure here. Two and a half feet tall is not really that big. I mean, we're talking that tall. And I figured they show like almost a full body image here. Is that really going to look at all realistic? So before anybody else goes out there and spends the roughly $12 these three window clings cost, I thought we would take a look at them together to see how that's really going to look in person, if that's really accurate. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's, well, I was hoping it was full life size, but I guess we're going to find out here in a moment. Because one thing, again, it says it's 2.6 feet tall. No indication as to how wide it is. I went onto their website and I tried to search on the product description and read some of the product reviews. Nothing, no full dimensions listed at all. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we are going to find. And also, I mean, they're called window clings. So I was a little concerned that it might not really be clingy. And I guess we're gonna find out here in just a moment. All right, so, well, we're right, it is Roughly two and a half feet tall. Okay, so it is a legit window cling. That's the first thing I see, which I was I was kind of worried about because I, you know, sometimes um, they sell you know like just like the sheets of plastic that you throw up in the window, and that's not at all what I wanted. Um, a window cling is just so much easier to deal with, and we've got the Bride of Frankenstein here. Let's see how tall she is. All right, so roughly thirty inches. Um, so that's two and a half feet, okay. So that's a little bit, oh, well, they say it's 2.6, which is actually 31 inches if you, if you did the whole sheet here, but she's the actual figure, 30 inches. So we've got the bride. We've got the mummy. And then we have Frankenstein. Now, the colors on these is very muted, as you can see. So I'm hoping when we put this in the window and we shine some light through it, that it's gonna look a little bit more um, popping than this. But uh, I'm really concerned about the bride because she's just mostly black and white and gray. And there's, I guess, a little bit of red in her mouth here. But let's go ahead and try and unpeel her because I think I'm gonna do the Bride and Frankenstein, my window. And I was looking actually, I was actually a little bit happy that these are so small because I've got this strange window with the pane in the middle. So it's, I got to do two separate images or it's going to get cut off somewhere in the middle. Let's go ahead and see how wide this is. It is roughly 19 and a half inches wide. So 19 and a half inches wide, 30 inches tall. Honestly, I think that's about perfect for my window. Let's just check out Frankie here. He appears to be, uh, yeah, about 19 inches wide. And then the mummy. I actually kind of like the mummy. I might try and find some place to put him elsewhere, but you know, I don't have a whole lot of 
uh, windows that would really work with these. Now this guy's a little bit narrower, I think. Uh, he's roughly 18 and a half inches. So there he is. But let me go ahead and start with, let's see. I'm gonna want the bride maybe facing that way. But I don't know, I guess, well, not really gonna have a choice because of the way the film works. It's gonna, only gonna be able to go one direction, right? I can't, I can't reverse it. So I'm assuming she's gonna have to go up just like that. So I guess I'll have her facing that way. And then let's see, Frankie will be next to her like so. So let's go ahead, unpeel her and see if she's gonna stick in the window. All right, as I peel it off, you can definitely see those colors actually do quite pop on the other side. So, ooh, very staticky. Let's go ahead and hang it in the window. So it went up super easy. It just gripped that window, um, no problems at all. I really love the fact that it's not that full sheet of plastic, but again, it is very small. So we're gonna have to see how it looks from the street. But before we do that, let's go ahead and put up Frankenstein. Have to be a little bit more careful with him because he has this secondary hand bit that sticks up and I don't want to rip the hand off. So. All right, this one doesn't appear to be cut quite through here. I have to tear it just a little bit to pull it off. Kind of want to make sure it doesn't stick to itself too much before we get it to the window. But here we go, let's put them up. All right, I am kind of loving how these fit perfectly in my window and I think it looks pretty good. And the distance to the street is 100 feet. So I think the size might work out well because it's, it's hard to judge from that far back really how tall it is actually. But uh, one other thing I kind of like to do is put in a, um, a flicker bulb or, or a a short circuit effect bulb, just so it gets the light in it, it draws people's attention and flashes, draws the eye up to the window, and just makes it a little more creepy, more, more Halloween. So um, the only thing we have to do now though is wait till it's a little bit darker, and then we'll take a look at it from outside and see how it looks. I do not need to wait until it is fully dark to make up my mind on this product. I will, however, show you at the end of the video what it looks like from the outside when it is fully dark so that you can make up your own mind, but I don't think this product is for me. It's it's a decent product. I'm, I don't hate it, but I just don't love it enough to display it in my window. I think if you have a window that is relatively close, uh, someone who's walking nearby, it will show up pretty well and it's a nice looking prop. I think though that if, if you're up close, you're gonna see the size problem and it's just gonna look underwhelming. But from far away, it's just too hard to make out the details of the images. I ended up having to put up the white background so that the light can filter. And I, I first put on the short circuit effect bulb and it's just not bright enough. I really had to use my camera lighting here to get the image to really kind of show up from the outside. And there's just not enough image there. A couple, I think if, if it were more 3D perhaps, it would look better. Um, if it were brighter, it would look better. If it were more life-size, it would look better. But as it is, it's none of those things and it just doesn't have enough presence 
for me. Um, but like I said, in a different situation, if you have people that are gonna be walking by it, it might be completely different. So I am glad that we got a chance to see what it looks like because like, you know, some of those details are a little hidden from the website, which is um, not surprising because I think if you knew the full dimensions of these, It'd be disappointing if they had just, I, I would have preferred if they had sold these individually, they were selling these things for, you know, three for $12. So basically four bucks each. I, I might've paid, you know, $6.99 for one of them if it were a full size image. So you might even have sold more and made more if you had just made a good prop to begin with. Uh, I just don't think this is it. The good news is I was sort of waffling back and forth about what to do with this window. And my other idea is to have a projection effect, which I'll be showing you in a future video. So stay tuned for that. And until then, stay tuned for other store walkthroughs, DIYs, product reviews. I'm actually gonna be doing my interior walkthrough very soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. Till then guys, thanks for watching. Take care and happy hunting.